I've learned in my life that when I don't move right when Jesus speaks to me, oftentimes I never move. There are moments that Jesus gives us a way out of the crowd. And in those moments, we need to take that exit strategy and we need to take it seriously. And we need to not obey tomorrow or the next day. But friend, I'm speaking to somebody today. Today is your day. Today is your day to step out of the crowd. You know, over the last 21 days, we've been in prayer and fasting. And for me, there's a few things that I was fasting and one thing that I was abstaining and I decided to abstain from Instagram. I deleted that little icon off of my phone. And this has been something that I've done a lot over the years because it's frustrating to me how my thumbs, without me even knowing, go to this icon throughout the day. And that I'm scrolling before I've even made a conscious decision of what I'm doing. It's a problem. And I've struggled with it. And I felt the pressure to be a part of it. And the 21 days came to an end. And man, I felt so refreshed, not having this constant distraction in front of me, that I came to a place in my life this past week where the 21 days ended. And I said, you know what? I don't think I'm supposed to step back into the crowd yet. And in my life with Instagram, to be really honest, I've always just felt like this is my problem. Don't you, you're not disciplined enough. You don't have a rule enough over like your time management or the way that you can do this. You should be able to do this. Everybody else seems to be able to manage this perfectly. But today I just thought, you know what? If I'm struggling this much with this, maybe there's somebody out there today that's struggling with it too. Yeah. And maybe me sharing with you how I'm choosing to step out of the crowd for a time so that I can make some progress so that there can be some space in my brain. I don't wanna be on an IG, IV drip. I don't want my brain to be a computer algorithm. I wanna have the freedom where there are quiet moments that are not filled with other inputs from the crowd, where there are not hundreds, if not thousands of other beautiful, creative inputs when I actually need the Holy Spirit in that moment to discern what's going on in my heart to remind me that He has the authority to change me and to put my feet on a path homeward. And it's hard because obviously I'm gonna keep using IG to, to share the love of Jesus through our church, but I can do that without it being on my phone. There are ways for me to be able to be the influencer without being the one being influenced. And I know that right now, I don't know how long it'll last, I know God's calling me to step out of the crowd. I know that there's another voice that I need to learn to discern more. So I'm making that decision to push past the crowd.